What finding does the arrow point at? We see a crescentic opacity with an irregular border projecting over the left lung apex on this frontal chest radiograph. The answer is an apical cap. Now what the heck is an apical cap? Well, an apical cap is a cap-like lesion at the lung apex due to pleural parenchymal thickening. It's usually caused by intrapulmonary and pleural fibrosis pulling down extrapleural fat. It can also be caused possibly by chronic ischemia resulting in hyaline plaque formation on the visceral pleura. The prevalence increases with age. It can also be seen with hematoma resulting from aortic rupture or another fluid collection associated with infection or tumor, either outside the parietal pleura or located within the pleural space. Radiation fibrosis is another consideration. In addition to the lung, the apical region of the hemithorax includes arteries, veins, nerves, lymphatics, bones, and lymph nodes. The right-hand image shows apical subpleural fibrosis and extrapleural fat thickening, which often accounts for apical caps seen on radiographs. Again, there are many causes for an apical cap. Here is a case of lung cancer. The PA chest x-ray on the top shows an irregular right apical opacity and destruction of adjacent ribs and vertebrae. Coronal T2 MR at the bottom shows an invasive apical lung cancer. This was a pancos tumor with chest wall invasion. Greater than five millimeters of asymmetry of apical opacities should raise suspicion, particularly if evidence of long-term stability is not available. Next case is hemorrhage. The PA chest x-ray shows a unilateral opacity at the left lung apex. This was consistent with an apical cap. In an acute symptomatic presentation, an apical cap is suspicious for hemorrhage, extending along the superior sulcus of the lung. The right DSA digital subtraction angiography image shows a left subclavian artery pseudoaneurysm due to vasculopathy. Apical caps in the setting of trauma or line placement should be further evaluated. The next case is just extrapleural fat. This frontal chest x-ray coned down to the right apex shows a right apical cap exhibiting sharply marginated and undulating borders. Note the absence of rib destruction. Now we're combed down to both lung apices. Note the bilateral, though slightly asymmetric, apical caps, slightly thicker on the right. Axial CT shows that the left apical cap is composed primarily of extrapleural fat. Next case is an aortic injury. Chest x-ray on the left shows a left apical cap. There's also rightward tracheal deviation. The paratracheal stripes are thick, and there's loss of the aortic arch in the AP aortic pulmonary window. Be sure to check out that video we did. The axial CT angiogram on the right of the same patient shows active contrasting travisation from the ruptured descending aorta in a large mediastinal hematoma producing mass effect on the mediastinal structures. Note the large left hemothorax, which causes the apical cap. You now know a lot about apical caps. Please subscribe for more awesome anatomy and radiology videos.